by the way, I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. I've had the opportunity to have him on my show more than once. I've said no every time. I don't want to help him. I'm not interested in helping the, him. The, the, the night is still young. We'll see. If I have him on, the night yeah. is still young? Yeah. You think no, I'll have him on? I think you'll have him on. Really? Yeah. He doesn't want to help Donald Trump, which means he doesn't want to hurt his career or cut off his regular supply of celebrity guests that he has on his podcast. Because just by having Donald Trump on the show and having a reasonable discussion with him would then cause Joe Rogan to be cut off from his Hollywood friends. Joe Rogan is getting a ton of backlash when it comes to his endorsement of RFK Jr. Even though Joe Rogan did respond and say it wasn't an official endorsement, he was being very, very favorable to RFK Jr. and obviously saying that he's probably gonna vote for RFK Jr. if we can just, you know, use some context clues there. I'm very interested to see what Mark Dice has to say. I, You guys know I don't pre-watch these videos. I have a very strong feeling that Mark Dice is going to nuke Joe Rogan because of this endorsement, because the title of this video from Mark Dice says, Joe Rogan turns on Trump with unbelievable endorsement of, and then it cuts off there, but obviously endorsement of RFK Jr. Let's get into the video here of Mark Dice. I'm sure shredding Joe Rogan. Let's check this out. Joe Rogan, who for years was the most listened to podcast in the country until very recently when he was dethroned by Tucker Carlson, who obviously has a few IQ points over the meathead, has made a big presidential endorsement with everything that's at stake, with the country hanging by a thread, with the United States facing a communist takeover. Who did he endorse? Was it Donald Trump, the obvious choice for freedom-loving Americans, or communist Kamala? Well, neither. Instead, he has chosen to endorse Robert F. Kennedy Jr. That's just what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They, they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas, but he's um, he's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. I mean, he's, he's a legitimate guy. He may be, and he has talked about Operation Mockingbird over the last few years on numerous podcasts, as well as Atrazine, the gender-bending chemical that you're not supposed to talk about. But voting for him at this point is throwing your vote away and he still is running for president if he actually cared about america he would drop out and he would endorse donald trump i actually said the same exact thing in in my last video that it's not about joe rogan voting for rfk jr it's the fact that he's saying it out loud you know and and not just him throwing his vote away but also telling his audience basically why they should also, he's not saying like you should do this, but he's making a good case to his audience for why they should be doing it. And I also said like the ideal situation, if these people really cared about America would be for RFK Jr. to drop out so that we also gain the support of not only RFK Jr.'s audience, but Joe Rogan's audience, which is one of the most influential people on the entire planet. If RFK Jr. drops out of the race, Joe Rogan is, is basically forced to choose between Kamala and Donald Trump. And it's a very obvious choice for people like Joe Rogan. I'm actually surprised that Joe Rogan even likes RFK Jr. this much because I'm pretty sure, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm pretty sure RFK Jr. is very much in favor of gun control, which Joe Rogan loves his guns. So that's pretty crazy. And then another reason why I don't like RFK is because he's, he's hardcore pro-choice and he wants to, you know, change the abortion stuff from what it is currently and i think it's in a perfect place currently you guys know my stance on things i think every law should be left up to the states and i think the government the federal level should be just setting guardrails for each you know for all the states saying hey you can't go outside of these but within these parameters you can kind of do whatever you want in terms of these laws and then people can make the choice on what state they want to live in i think that would be ideal for every law but so i, I think the abortion thing's in a perfect place as it is um, and I think RFK Jr. wants to kind of backtrack on the things that Trump and the Supreme Court did. So I'm surprised that Joe Rogan even likes RFK Jr. this much. Um, and Joe Rogan would endorse Donald Trump and at the bare minimum have Donald Trump on his show to have a conversation. But Joe Rogan has made it clear for years now that he doesn't like Donald Trump and doesn't want him on his show and won't do anything to help him. By the way, I'm not a Trump supporter in any way, shape, or form. I've had the opportunity to have him on my show more than once. I've said no every time. I don't want to help him. 
I'm not interested in helping the, him. The, the, the night is still young. We'll see. If I have him on, the night yeah. is still young? Yeah. You think I'll well, have him on? I think you'll have him on. Really? Yeah. He doesn't want to help Donald Trump, which means he doesn't want to hurt his career or cut off his regular supply of celebrity guests that he has on his podcast. Because just by having Donald Trump on the show and having a reasonable discussion with him would then cause Joe Rogan to be cut off from his Hollywood friends. He certainly did his best to help Bernie Sanders when he was running for president again back in 2020, gladly having him on the show to promote his ridiculous ideas. He's had RFK Jr. on a show, which of course he should, and it's perfectly fine to admire RFK Jr. for some of the positions that he has made. But again, voting for him, especially this time around, is absolutely ridiculous. In it fact, is. RFK Jr., He's exposed a lot of really important things, you know, with his book and everything going on Joe Rogan's podcast and talking to, you know, a lot of people who aren't probably as invested in things like we are and don't know the things that RFK Jr. were, were exposing. I didn't even know, you know, and I'm very into these sort of things. So he has done great things, but it's throwing away your vote for multiple different reasons. Number one, he's third party. So out the window already he's not going to win it's unfortunate that that's the case but that is the case if you're not a democrat or republican you're not going to win never ever 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 you're not so it's, it's throwing away your vote in that sense but also the exact reason why joe rogan is saying that he likes rfk and that he's probably going to vote for rfk is the reason another reason why he will never win because he's saying that he likes rfk because he doesn't do you know the the memes he doesn't do the personal attacks and the other candidates he just talks about policy and ideas and attacks other people's ideas well people don't like that nowadays you know I, I say it and people are you know whenever i say this people are like oh it's always been a popularity contest but it's more of a high school popularity contest now than it ever was before it's not about policy or ideas or anything like that it, 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 or representing the country in in the most presidential way it's just about how how hard you can for the right it's about how hard you can meme the left how hard you can dunk on the left and for the left it's about not being donald trump <laughs> that's what it comes down to it's like if if the left-wing candidate the democratic candidate is not donald trump well they're voting for them if the right-wing candidate whoever the right-wing candidate is that can meme the left and dunk on the left the most they'll vote for them and it's unfortunate that that's what it is but that that is what it is and you know for me I just, I, I think Donald Trump is the clear choice. You know, I, I think he is the clear choice for the for the betterment of the country, you know, for the for the future and for the present. Like it's kind of in a dire situation right now. If we if we allow Kamala Harris to, to get in office, it's, it's dire for not just this country, but also the entire planet. So I, I think it's a clear choice, but the state of politics is not in a place where RFK would ever have a chance ever. In fact, him being in the race at this point and RFK Jr. not endorsing Donald Trump is ridiculous. Here he is saying that he believes that he's siphoning votes away more from Trump than he is from the Democrats. From whom do you believe you will draw more votes, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Well, I hope to draw votes from both of them. Right now, I draw many more votes from President Trump than from is the Democrats. Happy with that? Is President Trump happy? He isn't happy. And in fact, the RNC, I told him that when I saw him. And he was if you're fed up with all the woke nonsense happening in the world like I am, go check out BringTheAsteroid.shop, where we just released some new designs that look great and also allow you to express to everyone that you are just tired of the direction that America is going in right now. And that you're just like me and many others that watch this channel and watch Bring the Asteroid as well, and you just want it to go back to how it used to be. Check out BringTheAsteroid.shop. We are limited on supplies for this drop, so if you want one, I would suggest that you go ahead and act soon. Let's get back to the video. It's like, yeah, we got to do something about that. Yeah, you should do something about that. You should do what's right for the country and drop out and endorse him. You would think with someone like Elon Musk endorsing Donald Trump, which he did last month, less than an hour after the attempted assassination, saying that he fully endorses President Trump and hopes for a rapid recovery, that it would make it safe for someone like Joe Rogan, who also claims to be fighting for free speech and fighting against wokeness and fighting against cultural Marxism, to not be such a coward and to do the same. Elon Musk. Well, what if it is like, I agree with Mark Dice for sure. I want Joe Rogan very badly to do it because I think it's the right thing to do for the country. But what if Joe Rogan is not scared? What if he just genuinely doesn't like the guy? You know, is, it, is that like the end of the world? If he just genuinely doesn't like Donald Trump? I don't think it is. I think he can still be on our side. I don't think Joe Rogan was ever on our side. Like, I don't think he's ever a conservative or a right wing or anything like that. I just think he's against the 
the uh, the insanity, the clinical insanity of the left wing of the woke cult. And therefore, like by proxy, he's, you know, we've kind of teamed up with him, but I don't think he was ever actually on our side. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't completely anti-woke. He wasn't completely, I guess he is anti-woke, but he's not, he was never right wing. Never. He's just against the absolute insanity. And by proxy, we became, you know, friends and, and teammates in that sense. But also Tim Pool made a great point on Twitter that RFK needs to just drop out and just get a place and and you know donald trump said we need to do something about that about rfk siphoning votes away from trump rfk should just drop out and and get a place in in trump's cabinet or something you know get a place in trump's administration i think he'd fit in well while he disagrees with trump on the abortion stuff and on the gun stuff trump probably heavily agrees with him on the big pharma stuff and the things that he exposed in his books and everything i think he'd be a great addition to trump's administration that would be a great that would be a great addition for trump and it'd be great for rfk in fact, we'll be interviewing Donald Trump on Monday, presumably during a live X space, which is Twitter's group chat feature. So that's going to be interesting. But Toe Rogan is afraid to talk to Donald Trump. And when they crossed paths not that long ago at a UFC fight, which Donald Trump is known to attend on a regular basis, you can see little Joe was quite intimidated having to look the man in the eye who he has refused to sit down and talk to as he admitted on numerous occasions. What else should we expect from a guy who's- Well, that's kind of it when it comes to Mark Dice reacting to the Joe Rogan endorsement of RFK and betrayal, technically, of Donald Trump. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about what Mark Dice had to say about Joe Rogan's endorsement and turn against Donald Trump and the cancellation that's happening of Joe Rogan, because there's a lot of people who are going way harder than Mark Dice is. I think Mark Dice is being pretty reasonable. There's a ton of people on Twitter that are melting down. Their brains are melting inside of their brains because or inside of their heads because joe rogan didn't endorse donald trump and it's like i i never expected joe rogan to endorse donald trump personally until rfk jr drops out of the race and it becomes kamala versus trump only then i think that he'd probably say yeah i'll vote for trump like he's not gonna say hardcore like everybody needs to go out to the polls and vote for trump like he's never gonna do that dude so you guys can get that out of your head let me know in the comments though what you think about what mark dice had to say about this whole joe rogan versus the whole right wing situation